Okay. What's good, y'all? So, shout out to Kendra. I think her name is Kendra G. She's like some type of, um, she's like a male version of Kevin Samuels, basically. Yeah, Kendra G Media. She does something called, she, she has like a segment called Singles On. Singles Only or Singles On. Shout out to her, man. Anyway, I found this extremely interesting, man, because I do have a home. I don't know if y'all remember. I did a, I said in a few videos that I did a while back, I told y'all that I have a homegirl who's currently about three, she should be four months, five months pregnant now. She's like 22, 21, 22 right now. And she's literally going, if not doing the same exact thing as this woman is doing. So I thought it was crazy that, you know, I stumbled upon this video. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to play the whole video. It's an entirety. It's about three minutes and some change. So we're going to play that video and we're going to come right back. I will say this, y'all. There is a problem with the, uh, with the audio. It wasn't my phone. It wasn't the computer or anything like that. It was the original video. So I don't, I don't know, maybe when they dragged it from Instagram to wherever, YouTube or wherever they dragged it to, whatever the computer, I don't know, it kind of throw the, the audio off, you know? So uh, in, anyway, we, we just gonna get straight into it. We're gonna come right back, all right? Do you have any kids? I'm currently pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> You're how many months pregnant? 27 weeks, so around seven months. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. So you're pregnant right now. The guy you're pregnant by, you're not with him? No. So you want to get a jump start in who you want to date before you have the baby, I'm assuming. No, it's not It's not like that. Mm -mm. What is, I mean, but, but hold on. What is it like? Because this is a dating show. So people, people come up here to meet someone that they want to date. So do you not want to date somebody? Yes, I do want to date someone. I do want to date someone. I'm not. I'm. I'm not trying to make it seem like I wanted. I want to be. You know, I'm ready to like hurry up and jump into something with someone, or like be in a relationship or anything like that off the bat because I am pregnant. That's not the deal. The deal is to you know talk to someone. If we do go on dates, that's great too. You know, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm rushing into anything with anyone. I'm going to ask this question, but I, I, I'm hoping it's enough. You're not planning to have sex with somebody else while you're pregnant, right? No. Oh. No. Of course not. No. Okay. Okay. No. Like I said, I'm willing, I, I want to get to know someone spiritually and mentally first before I ever give my body away because that's part of the reason why I am where I am right now. You know, I was just like, it was just all sex and not, you know, getting to know him more mentally and spiritually and emotionally, which got me into this predicament now. So I'm learning from that. And from learning from that, I'm, I'm just not going to even deal with anybody, anything, anything sexually. Okay. Um, so what do you say to the people that say, why don't you wait until you have your child to start entertaining other men? the difference from me being pregnant and meeting someone else than a man getting all these women pregnant not taking care of them and continuing to be with other women you have a point there that's why i said on the flip side i know plenty of men who have dated other women while they had a child on the way i guess it's because the physical aspect of the baby you know physically you can see the woman pregnant so i would just think have the child and then focus on the guy but you say that doesn't make any difference. I mean, I, that's and see, that's another thing. People are saying focus on the guy. I've never lost focus of my child. I will never lose focus of my child, and I'm not focusing on another guy. What I'm focusing on right now is my child, and you know, once again, just to do something that makes me, you know, happy as well. And if I'm getting getting to know other people and just, you know, like I said, communication a mental thing, spiritually, getting to know someone, that's not hurting anybody. You don't have to, but can we see the valley? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you're really having a baby. Yes, I am. Like I said, I don't have, I, I have no reason to lie. And I'm looking for someone who can also do the same. I'm completely 100%. I'm completely open. I'm an open book. And I'm just looking for someone that can, you know, also match that. And that's it, you know. I'm not looking for anybody to buy me nothing, do nothing for me or anything like that. But basically, be that friend. And if that friend ends up being my partner, my best friend, 
then that's a plus. So you're pregnant right now. The guy you're pregnant by, you're not with him? No. What's going on? Hey, you're pregnant. Yeah. Okay, so you're pregnant. Yeah. Okay, so you want to get a jump start in who you want to date before you have the baby, I'm assuming. No, it's not It's not like that. Mm -mm. What is, I mean, hold on. What is it like? Because well, why are you calling? Let me let, let, let me say let me say something, man. There is so little accountability and responsibility within our community. It's really depressing, man. It's depressing. It's draining. I hate seeing. I hate hearing stuff like this because it happens so often. But I'm I'm just I'm tired of seeing this. I'm tired of seeing this, man. Seventy what seventy four percent or seventy seven percent of black kids in America are born into broken homes, single parent households. This is insane. This is insane. 2021, and it's still damn in, 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 a, a problem. It's still a damn problem as if people don't know what the hell contraceptives is. As if people don't know what the hell an abortion clinic is. As if people don't know what, like, like, come on, bro. There's too many other, like, other like, variety of options that you can take to stop a pregnancy, to stop yourself from getting pregnant. And I'm not just talking about her, or I'm not just talking about my home. I'm just talking about in general, because this is going on everywhere. She's seven months pregnant. Calling into a dating show, trying to find another damn man, and you haven't even had this baby yet. Why are you worried about finding another man? Sweetie, focus on you. And she's trying to be all defensive. Oh, but but what about men? But what about, but what about? Trying to deflect. And I was extremely disappointed in Kendra because I thought Kendra was going to be able to catch that. Just listen. I want y'all to listen. Okay. Um, so what do you say to the people that say, why don't you wait until Just you wait. have your child to start entertaining other men? What do you say to the difference from me being pregnant? And being someone else than a man getting all these women pregnant, not taking care of them, and continuing to be with other women. What is she talking about? You have a point there. That's why I she doesn't have a point, Kendra. She don't have no damn point. What the hell does that have to do? The difference, let me tell you what it has to do. Because it, it has nothing to do with it, but she's just trying to damn justify why she wants what she wants. Talk about, oh, I'm not going to be having sex while I'm pregnant. Yes, the hell you are. Get, get out of here. Yes, you are. My homegirl, I told y'all, she's not even with her baby daddy, but she's sleeping with some other damn guy. And she's poking now. She's my, my, my I'm not gonna lie. My homegirl, she, she's very attractive. She has a very slim uh physique. Like she's like a size one or a size two, if that. She's like a like she. I, I want to say a zero maybe, but she has like she has curves. Like it, it's crazy. I, I I don't know. But she's very slim, but she has curves. You know what I'm saying? But she already told me that she's sleeping with another guy. What she already told me that she's been sleeping with some other guy. She dropped him. Now she's messing with some other guy that she's at the gym, like one of her trainers, and now she's sleeping with him. She over time said, oh, I'm pregnant. I'm not going to sleep with somebody. Yes, the hell you are. Get out of here. Yes, you are. That made no sense. Oh, what's the difference between a guy that has a lot of baby? Sweetie, the difference is a man cannot carry a damn child. That's the difference. You have a whole child in your damn stomach worried about when you can go, when you're going to get some new damn dick already. Insane. Y'all can hear all them kids in the background. I don't know if that's her kids. I'm not going to say that. I'm, I'm not even going to assume that those are her kids. I'm not, I'm not going to, because she never said it was her kids or not. But I'm hearing kids in the damn background. So I'm assuming you babysitting. I'm assuming. I don't know. Maybe they are your kids. Who knows? But this is the type of damn logic. Why are you calling into this lady's show asking about dating? The first thing you should be damn worried and concerned about is you having, uh, will continue to have a, a, a safe pregnancy and an, and an even safer delivery. Because women are closest to death when they're delivering a child. There's a high probability that you won't even make it, but you over here worried about some damn new damn dick. So I'm just needing a man that's, that's going to do do for me and, and, and look out and do this, that, and third. Why weren't you doing all that before you let this man get, 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 get you pregnant? It's that type of damn dumbass logic that really pisses me off and irritates me, y'all. Y'all don't understand the type of story that these females be telling me, bro. Y'all don't understand. I swear to God, bro. Y'all understand. The story that these girls be telling me, y'all don't understand. As a male, I'm sitting here looking like, bro, that makes no damn sense to me. There's condoms, spermicide, IUDs, the the the, the patch, the, the pregnancy patch, the shot. There's too many damn contraceptives. Plan B, plan B still not 100%, but still at least something. And let's just say all that failed. Let's just say you did all that. Damn, I got an IUD, I got the shot, I got a plan B, I did this, I did, and I still in that pre Let's just say that you that damn small of an anomaly. All right, cool. None, none of the contraceptives work. There's still damn abortion clinics. You can still become a damn assigned a surrogate and give that child to someone, to a family that can take care of it. There are so many damn options. I'm not trying to hear that. But I hear this so often from my people. And, and, and most importantly, I hear this from my people all too damn much. In my program, y'all, listen, we have so many group projects. 
as soon as the class starts, like, but then that first week, we already got a group project to do. So we all, we're, we're getting teamed up with four people, six people. And like, usually during the first day, we do like a quick introduction. Hi, my name is so-and-so. I do this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. And every time I tell people like, yo, I do relationship advice on, on, on my channel and stuff like that, they always become extremely interested, uh, in, you know, in, in my videos and stuff like that. So shout out to them if they still watching. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They always become extremely interested. And I always ask all of them, the men and the women, I always ask them like, like multiple damn questions. And I always find it, very very uh it's very surprising when i ask people that's that's a non-black like that's a non-black race like caucasian hispanics or anything like that even asians i ask them this question what would happen if you was to get if a guy was to get you pregnant and you don't see yourself being with them what would happen all of them said i would get rid of it one girl that was in my group she was caucasian she's like i'm not keeping a baby from a man that i don't plan to be with and i'm just like yeah that makes sense but every time I ask one of my homegirls that's pregnant from a man, well, what are you going to do? My homegirl is 22 years old. She's unemployed. She's not even in college. She's not even in college. She just has a high school diploma. I think I think she has a, a, like some type of certification, but she's unemployed. She doesn't work. I'm like, what are you going to do to, to take care of this child? And you don't want to damn, and you don't want nothing to do with the father. Oh, I'm going to just put him on child support and I'm going to get on section eight. I'm so sick and tired of hearing this from my damn people. Being on Section 8 and food, any type of governmental assistance is not a damn goal. It shouldn't be something. It shouldn't even be a logical thing for y'all to fall back on. It shouldn't. And, and, and we need to have this damn conversation. We really need to have this damn conversation because it's extremely popular in our culture. And it, and it, and it needs to stop. She's not the only girl that's doing this. I know plenty of damn people, uh, plenty of damn women that did this. You don't want nothing to do with the man, but you having this baby. For what? Y'all be so quick and so ready to have kids from all these damn men, but as soon as y'all say, hey, yo, well, as soon as he's, I ask y'all, hey, yo, well, do you see yourself with him for the rest of your life? Do you plan on, do you plan on being married to this man? Well, like, marriage, what? Like, marriage, I, what I look like. I can tell you what you look like, but I ain't gonna say it. Because I don't want you to get all in your feelings. Y'all already be going in on me talking about I'll be bashing women and all this, that, and third. I don't be doing none of that. I just be speaking facts. Y'all just don't like it. That's the problem. Y'all don't like what I say. And this is why people like, again, Kendra, she dropped the ball. She had a perfect opportunity to put her in her place and to give her the proper knowledge and the proper guidance that she needed as a damn pregnant damn woman. As a pregnant woman, you about to have a child and let's just say, you know, you have no type of complications. It's bound to happen. But I'm, I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to let you be that anomaly. You have no type of... Uh, problems and complications during your pregnancy and delivery. You have nothing. You push her out and you good. There's still at least, I want to say three months of, of healing that you're supposed to go through and deal with. Sometimes they, they, they'll, uh, some women will go back to work immediately after. That's because they have, you know, whatever little financial problems they have going on. Maybe they can't depend on nobody. I don't know. But this is real life, y'all. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm so tired of seeing and hearing stuff like this. And you know what the problem is, y'all? I'm, I'm, I'm about to really break it down. I'm, I'm going in because I'm, I'm agitated now. The problem is a lot of them know that once they have that child, they can get whatever governmental assistance, whatever free money that they can get. They know they're going to be able to get Section 8, food stamps, uh, you know, whatever, WIC, child support, in all that stuff. All that stuff. There is some governmental programs where they literally come and give women two, $300 per month if their situation is that bad. And they know that. They know that. They know that, hey, yo, if I have a child, immediately the government going to step in and take care of this. I guarantee you, fellas, ladies too, but fellas, I guarantee you, the day that the government says, hey, yo, no more government assistance for single mothers is going to be the day that you're going to see single mother pregnancies and deliveries is going to drastically drop. I guarantee you. Y'all are too quick to have a child, but you don't even want to get damn married. Why, why is that an issue? And then trying to damn deflect to the men. Ladies, again, like I said, man, this lady dropped the damn ball. You know, getting to know him more mentally and spiritually and emotionally. Crazy. Talking about she want to get to know a man more mentally, emotionally, and spiritually and all this, that, and the third. Get the hell out of here. Where was all that when you, when you was damn sleeping with the other guy? Where was all that? Where was it? What happened? Now all of a sudden you got standards? Now all of a sudden you want to connect with this man? You should have been able to connect with him enough to know that, hey, yo, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with him or I'm going to at least spend a decent amount of years with him to at least be able to raise this child up to a certain age 
where they don't become a menace. I, mm. Kids that's being raised by single parent household has a higher chance of becoming a menace to society. They have a higher chance of becoming a school dropout to becoming another damn statistic. All these things. Why do you even want to put your child in a situation like that? My homegirl told me, oh, oh, well, because I, I told her, I said, back back when she first, first found out she was only like three weeks pregnant or something like that, I said, yo, well, I, I strongly suggest that you get an abortion if you don't plan on being anything with this man. This girl, you know what she told me? I swear to God on everything I love, this girl looked me in my eyes and said, Dev, I can't have an abortion because it's against my religion. What in the, in, in, in the, in the hell just what did you just say what did you just say and she looked me in my eyes like this is my religion and it made so much sense to her it made perfect sense to her i'm looking at this girl like have you lost your damn mind so it's your so it's against your religion to have an abortion but it's not against your religion to have sex before marriage it's not against your religion to have to bring to to, to have a child before marriage that's what you're telling me but let them tell it. It makes so much sense to them. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise this child. I'm gonna struggle. I'm gonna damn go through this, that, and the third. I'm gonna live on, depend on Section Eight, and depend on this government and all this, that, and the third. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do all that. But being in a relationship with him, no, nah, that's not gonna happen. And a lot of y'all looking at me like, oh, but Deb, but what about the men? Why are you getting, why are you getting on the men, the women? Why, why are you not saying nothing to the men? The reason why I'm not saying that much to the men, and yes, the men, obviously, the men is at fault too. But it's not no 50-50. I would say 70% women, 30% men. And the reason why I say that it would be 50-50, the reason why I, 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 um, it's not only because women can decide whether they can go full term or not. A man can't do nothing about it. If you as a woman say, hey, yo, I don't want to have this kid. And I come to you and I say, bro, I want to have the child. I, I, I want to have a kid. I want to have this baby. What's up? We can do this. We can do that. Blah, 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 blah. There's nothing I can do to stop you from going to that damn abortion clinic and getting rid of the child. There's nothing I can do. I can't call the police. I, well, I can call the police, but they're not going to do nothing about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I can't call the police. I can't go to your mother. I can't go to the pastor. I can't damn call God and do whatever. I can't do none of those things. I have to sit there and watch you go to that damn abortion clinic. That is the problem. Same thing, switched. If she wants to have a child and I don't want to have a child and I say, hey, bro, listen, I can't have a child because ABC123, I'm not ready to have a kid, blah, 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 blah. That's why I want I, I want you to go to the abortion clinic. If she says, oh, I'm, I'm going to have this baby, there's nothing I can do about it. I can sit there and call on God. I can call the pastor. I can sit there and call her mama, call the police. I can do all these things, but there's nothing I can do to stop it. That is the reason why I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not putting the blame on men. That's the reason why. Because as a man, we have no say so in what a woman can do once we get once we get her pregnant. There's nothing we can say. We can have suggestions. I've said this before. I can suggest something, but there's nothing I can do. So when stuff like this happens, I don't feel sorry for them because you've had ample opportunity, ample time to come up with a plan or to come up with just come up with something. This woman looks like she's about 25 years old, 23 years old. This is insane. But again, when I say stuff like that, I'm bashing women. This girl ain't said much of nothing. All she did was was deflect, talk about her feelings, and 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 say why she thought she deserved a guy to do this, that, and a third, blah, 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 blah. This is sad, man. This is sad. I don't have any kids as of yet. I told y'all, when I do decide to have a kid, it's I'm I, I'm it's gonna be when I'm married, after marriage. It's not happening, it's not happening before that. I refuse. I refuse. That's number one. Number two, she needs to understand that if we was to get a divorce, if we was to break up for whatever reason, what if we have boys, the boys are coming with me. She needs to understand that also. That's facts. The boys coming with me. So until I find a, a wife and a woman that understands all those things as far as, as what I want uh, in our kids, how I want our kids to be raised, because I there's a certain standard that I want my boys and my girls to have if I was to have a kid. I, there, there are certain standards that I would want them to have and certain knowledges I would want them to know and certain ways I would want them to dress and to carry themselves and the way they present the way they present themselves. All that stuff is how I think mentally before I even think of having kids. Nowadays, people just want to have kids so they can just dress them up. It's bigger than that. I want to have a child that I can put out there in the damn in, in, in society and they say, hey, yo, this child knows something. This child is. I'm not trying to talk down on y'all, but a lot of y'all kids is out here fresh as hell. 
but can't even damn read. Don't even know their damn colors. Don't know their damn numbers, their letters. That's sad. I don't know if y'all if y'all keeping up with with, with like the the American School Institute or anything like that. I don't know if y'all if y'all keeping up with stuff like that. But a lot of our black boys are reading at, at, at grade levels that they're not that they're not supposed to be reading at. A lot of these boys at sixth, seventh, eighth grade reading at a second grade, third grade level. That's not good. But he fresh as hell though. He got the brand new J's. He got chain. He got a grill in his mouth. He got the new iPhone. He don't got a passcode lock on. He got facial recognition because he don't know numbers though. He got every single damn PlayStation Five game, every single every single Xbox game. All that, but reading at a second grade level and his ass is 13 years old, 12 years old. We have to do better as a damn community, as a society, as a whole. We over here trying to damn demand equality from other damn races. We we need to get our damn stuff together, man. I'm trying not to cuss. I'm really trying not to cuss. This really pissed me off. Not just her, not just this lady, but just my, my homegirl because I, 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 I'm so tired of having these type of conversations and these type of debates it feels like a debate. It shouldn't even be a debate, but it feels like a debate with my homegirls that's pregnant and some of my homegirls that have kids. Majority of my homegirls that have kids, majority of them aren't even with their baby daddies. And some of them knew that when they first found out they was pregnant. I'm talking about three weeks, four weeks pregnant. They knew they was going to be with this man. Why are you letting these guys hit you wrong? You know, you don't want nothing to do with these people, with these, with these men. I'm ranting right now. I feel like I'm ranting at this point. But this this is just this is just this is ridiculous, man. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Again, I'm not gonna sit up here and try to tell women, oh no, so y'all need to stop having sex. I'm not gonna say that. I'm the last person to tell to tell y'all to stop having sex. <laughs> I'm the last person. I can tell y'all right now, I have been using condoms for a great deal of time. I have yet to have a condom break on me. <laughs> I'm crossing my damn fingers because it's not gonna start today. I have yet to have a damn condom. Let me put two up. I have yet to have a damn condom break on me, a plan B pill, not work for me, for work on, on the girl that I'm damn messing with. It has yet to happen. So I'm starting to believe that a lot of this is y'all. Y'all doing this to y'all self. Y'all letting these guys smash, bro. Just pull out. Just pull out. Yeah, ladies, I'm talking to y'all. Y'all be the main ones telling us don't put that rub on. Y'all be the main ones. I be having that rub on deck. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm about to rip it up. She looking at uh, what, what you getting a condom for? Just pull out. Just pull out, Dev. Just pull out. Trying to make eye contact with me. You don't got nothing, right? You don't got no SCD? Okay, just pull out. Just pull out. We need to have these damn discussions, man. I don't know what's going to happen after I release this video. I have no idea. People going to be mad at me. I already know. I already know. I, I, I got so many people mad at me about the video I did with the uh, ladies. When men, when men, men will put you in one of three categories. Uh, what categories are you in? I have women get mad at me because I did the PSA video. Um, men will spend money on you, but he won't cuff you. I have women get mad at me because of the my advice. I my advice to to women seeking relationship videos where I said um, stop dating, stop sleeping with broke ass men. Uh, if it don't come with a title or title or tag, you should not be giving out no ass. Girls get mad when I say stuff like that. Women get mad when I do these type of videos. They get so mad. I have about 80 damn videos. I want to say at least 60 or 70 of those videos are geared for men to get their stuff together because they be disappointing me. Cool, calm. They, 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 they don't care about that. But the two, three, four videos I got about women, all hell breaks loose. They, they want to thumb me down. They want to screenshot my video, screenshot, you know, in the middle of me talking, like, you look ugly here. <laughs> they be in their feelings, y'all. I'm telling you. Insane, man. We, we, need, we need healing. We need healing. There's something going on in our community that we feel so not entitled. We feel so so safe. We feel so I don't even know what word I'm look I'm looking for. We we feel so good. We feel so okay about having a child but not having a damn marriage. I don't know what's going on with us. Women today and, and this is this isn't just about my you know black the, the my, um you know the, the black community this is everybody in general but a lot of women today are so okay with having kids but as soon as you mention a relationship psh, I've told y'all men there was many damn girls I was sleeping with and there was some of them I wanted to be in a relationship with and I'd be like yo man I would love to be in a relationship with you you know this that and third they looked at me like I was crazy a relationship nah man you just 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 keep hitting this ass and keep it moving. A lot of us need healing. I'm going to say it again, bro. A lot of us need healing. We need to figure out why are we so damn okay with having having a child or having children, but we not okay to be in a damn committed damn relationship or committed marriage at the least. 
I have multiple homegirls who was literally a couple weeks pregnant and they already knew they didn't want nothing to do with the, the with the baby daddy. They already knew they didn't want nothing to do with the baby daddy. Insane, bro. This this hurts to be honest with you. Yeah, this this video went on way longer than expected, man. I I, I want y'all to comment down below, man. What are, what are y'all thoughts on this, bro? Because, like, when I say stuff, like, when I do videos and stuff like that, people get mad at me. People be like, oh, you're making up these stories. No, I'm not. My homegirls, they out here doing what the hell they want to damn do. And, yo, I applaud them. I tell them all the time, as long as you're being safe, as long as you, you know, as long as it's consensual, I don't care. But the issue is a lot of them are just so ass backwards as far as their logic. They don't get what's going on. They don't get that what they're doing, what they're saying is wrong. But they don't care. Cause it's some brand new dick. It's some good dick. They don't care. Those dick. Girl, I, don't, I don't give a damn. I don't know. So, oh, I give. Oh, I get pregnant. What? I'm pregnant. Damn. Let me just go on ahead. Go into unemployment office. Let me go ahead and stack this free money. Government assistance is for you to help you get on your feet when you fall. The issue with a lot of, especially us, the issue nowadays is that we take this and we run with it forever. There's people that still on government assistance after 10, 20, 30 damn years. Food stamps after 10, 20, 30 damn years. How long does it take for you to get back on your feet? I guarantee you, I told y'all, bro, I was born and raised in the hood. I moved out of the hood about, I want to say five years ago, man. I want to, It's going on five years ago. 26, yeah, I finished my bachelor's 2016, 2017. It was literally right before I finished my bachelor's. So it's, it's going on five years now that I've, that I've been outside the hood. I guarantee y'all, if I was to walk back to them same complexes, all my old neighbors, I guarantee my neighbors are still living there. All them guys that was at the liquor stores asking for a dollar, I guarantee you they still there. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, bro. They still there. Waiting for their next unemployment check so they can spend it on liquor and weed and whatever else they want to spend it on. Them same damn females that's there, they, they still selling their ass for money over there on 19th and 31st. Or over in what well, used to be called Driftwood. I don't know what they call it now. They call it some what we used to call a crayon apartment because they used to have different bright ass colors, but now they changed it to like brown or some something like that. Same girls that I went to high school with that was over there in middle school with that that lived there, still selling ass for for, for little for little twenty, forty, fifty dollars. Still giving out head in the parking lot while they kids crying in the in the in the damn house. Crazy, bro. This is sad. But we want uh, but we demand respect from other from other races. We demanding damn equality from other damn races. We can't even get our stuff together. I begged my home. I, again, I, I'm ranting right now, but I don't even care because I'm, I'm already pissed off. I begged my homeboys and homegirls. Hey, yo, come to college with me, bro. It's free. They, it's not even free. Matter of fact, they're basically paying you to come to college. Financial aid gives you a check every semester for going to college. Plus scholarships and, 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 and bright futures and all the other crap that, that you can get. I was literally every 16 weeks, they were sending me at least, I want to say three stacks just for coming to school in 16 weeks. But you over here selling that same ass damn dime bag, making a hundred, two hundred dollars every, every week. You mean to tell me you risking your freedom selling that little ass dime bag, making a hundred, two hundred dollars per week. Let's say times that by 16 It's 16 weeks in a college semester. So 16 times, um, times 200, 3,200. You literally making the same amount of money I was making with scholarships and financial aid, bright futures, all that other stuff, if not more, plus work study, that's even more money. So you're literally making the same amount of money I'm making, and I'm not risking my damn freedom. But they ain't look at it like that. Oh, bro, I ain't going to school four years. Four years too long, bro. I ain't going to school four years. Why not? What, what are you doing that's so damn important that you can't go to school or go to college? College ain't for everybody. I'm not trying to hear that. I graduated high school with a 1.8. I'm not trying to hear that. College definitely won for me. I drag my ass through the damn master's program and, and the bachelor's program. I'm not trying to hear that. That's excuses. That's laziness. I don't accept that. In my circle, I don't I don't accept. I cut off too many of my homeboys and homegirls. I changed my number on their ass. No, from now on, hit me up on Facebook and Instagram. That's it. That's the only way. And if you feel some type of way, you can delete me. That's cool. It's all love. I still talk to you. I still speak and greet you in passing. And that's facts. I begged all of them to come to school with me to have a better life. I begged all of them. I begged them. They didn't want to do it. They didn't want to listen to me. They want to keep robbing. They want to keep selling. They want to keep doing this. But a lot of them are dead. You know what I'm saying? RP to them boys. RP to my homies. I miss y'all. I love y'all. But it's all good. A lot of them are dead. A lot of them are in jail. Some of them ain't never getting out. I got a homie that, that robbed this lady when I was uh, 17. He in prison for life. He robbed some old ass lady. She ended up having a heart attack and then they got his ass for uh, manslaughter or something like that. He's not getting out. 
That was over 10 years ago. He's not getting out. That's real life. That's real life. And I've been there before. I, I don't, I, you know, I ain't gonna sit there and try to make it seem like I'm perfect. I don't, I don't did some, some dirt before. I did a lot of dirt. Facts. Which is one of the reasons why I'm even more grateful that I am where I am today with a clean damn name and a clean slate. We have to do better as a damn community. And we, it starts with them taking care of them. First of all, taking care of our kids, putting them in a damn, uh, not in a non-broken household, a structured house with a man and a woman, a woman to provide the nurture and a man to provide the structure. That's what the hell we damn need. This is sad, bro. I hate hearing and seeing stuff like this. It happens too often. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Everybody that I begged to come to college with me back when I was applying for my associates, everybody that I begged, everybody that I went with, you all know what they're doing now? They still working at McDonald's, still working at Dollar Tree, still working at Wendy's, working at Walmart. And there'll be nothing wrong with working at those places if they had a manager uh, position, if they had, if they was working in corporate. We almost 30. It's been there. It's been 10 years since we graduated high school. We almost 30. And you still working at Dollar Tree? You still working at Walmart? Making $15 an hour? I'm being generous with that. I'm being generous with that 15 an hour. You mean to tell me that a high schooler that's 16, what, what's the minimum to work at, at, at Walmart? I think it's like 16, I think it's 16 or 17 years old. A 16 year old applies for the same job as you. We 30, 35. You have a 16 year old making the same amount of money as you. And, and you're okay with that? You're cool with that? You're that stagnant in life that you don't see better for yourself? To be honest, a 16-year-old in, in a way better position than you because then if that child, if that 16-year-old was to stay at Walmart until they reach your age, they will have 19, 18, 19, almost them to 20 years of experience, not only in that position, but I guarantee they would have had multiple damn promotions because they would have still been going to school and doing whatever they needed to do on the side. But y'all don't see that. They didn't see that. It took me, what, six years, seven years to finish my damn um, the bachelor's and master's program. Here I am. I'm done. It's a, it's a wrap. I'm over with now. Now I'm over here, you know, I, I'm not going to tell you everything I want to do, but I got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do. Again, I'm ranting right now, man, but this, this, this is just, this is a long time coming. This needs to be said. I'm so tired of, of seeing and hearing stuff like that, bro. We are better than that. I don't give a damn. You don't have to go to college. I'm not saying go to college. I'm not saying you can start a business. You can do whatever. I don't, I don't give a damn what y'all got going on. Do your hair products, whatever, but do something. Stop being stagnant and comfortable in life. Stop. Just stop, bro. I got a homegirl with two kids working at what? She's 33, 35 years old, something like that. And she works part-time at Walmart. Ain't nothing wrong with her. She ain't no medical issues. Bare a week, she all up on Instagram, all in the club, shaking her ass, doing what she quote-unquote do, do best. Hashtag, these men ain't this, these men ain't that. Insane. Anyway, man, I, I know I know, I went off topic, bro. I went way, way off topic. But this, this, this is the type of stuff that, that goes through on my mind, bro. Like the stuff that I think about constantly, cause I, I, I love my people at, at so much, man, especially the, the, my black Queens and the people that know me, y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I talk. Y'all know how I be coming with this time, with the content, with the, with the topics and all that. Y'all know how I feel about this. Anyway, y'all, um, thanks for watching again. If you made it this far, definitely. If you made it this far, please hit that like, man. Hit that like before you get up out of here, bro. You have to hit that like. I don't know what's going on with the YouTube algorithms. For whatever reason, they not they they not keeping up with my stuff. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. So, uh, but anyway, y'all, please make sure y'all hit that comments, bro. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. Let me know what's up, bro. Hit them comments. Let me know. Talk to me. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What's up, man? Talk to me. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Please, 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 before you forget, hit that like button, man. Hit that like, hit them comments, hit that subscription, bro. Also, too, hit that bell symbol on the side so anytime I make an upload, that notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, again, hit that like, hit that share. You know what I'm saying? I look forward to reading all y'all comments, if any. So, until next time, y'all be safe out here, cuz. Get chased with full clips, they cage and that type of shit By the police, bitch They quit to throw them seeds on you So grow away from your kids I'm just trying to beat the odds I don't have to be another statistic <laughs> I made it Yeah, I made it Yeah Okay, I ran past the finish line Tell these rappers it's my time Devin is here to claim